head over to search and then type in services. Click on it. Once we're on services, we're going to click on any service and then click on W on our keyboard, which will take us down until we find Windows Update. You want to double click on that and then click on stop. And then click on OK. Then we're going to minimize this. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and then type in File Explorer. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to click on this PC and then click on your C drive and then click on Windows. Then we're going to scroll down until we find software distribution. We want to open it up. Once you're in this folder, we're going to delete everything in this folder. Don't worry, it's completely safe. So click on Control A on the keyboard, then click on Delete. Then click on Continue. Once it's all been deleted, we're going to head back into Services. And then you want to double click on Windows Update and then click on Start. And then make sure that the startup type says automatic on it and then click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to Search and then type in appwiz.cpl and click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on View Installed Updates, which will take us to this page. Then you want to uninstall the update for Microsoft Windows. You want to uninstall this. I'm not going to do it because it works for me, but you uninstall it. And once you uninstall it, you want to restart your computer. And then you want to head over to search and type in check for updates, click on it. And then you want to check for updates and do all the updates that you may have, then the problem will be fixed.